What's up, YouTube? Uh, Seventy Nine Twitch coming to you from the review bench. Uh, SKS safety check empty, 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 empty. All right. Uh, this is a Norinko Chinese made uh, SKS. <laughs> Shoot 762 by 39, same as the AK 47. Comes with a 10 round detachable box magazine. You pull that little lever back there, and it, there's a little lip right there, and, and you just pull that back up, and you empty out all the rounds if you had a severely bad jam. Uh, to load it, you have Stripper clip, yes, I know that is nine hollow point wolf ammo, which I got uh, a tenth one laying around somewhere, and then I got one of these Norinko rounds on there that I I just seen it laying around, and I lost my one hollow point, so I said, ah, screw it, I'll just throw it on there. Okay, uh, not really uh, that awesome of a gun. I did get the. Uh, muzzle brake on there what kind of muzzle brake is it I don't have a clue uh, my uncle got it uh, a whole new trigger set up for an SKS uh, for any of you guys want to know that's what the inside trigger is uh, this one I think screwed up because the safety is off and you pull the trigger don't do nothing and then you gotta pull that little lever down right there a little lever right there that's got to come down to about there and, and still that hammer will not fire the hammer won't cock back no more I don't know what's wrong with this thing don't really know how this thing works but that's what's inside there even though I keep that in there because this is uh, serial number matching part number matching gun it's all part matching with the magazine got one right there you actually got it on the best stock right there uh, you got it right whoa we got it right there uh, you got it right there you got it on the barrel somewhere I haven't found it on the barrel yet it's probably down in there somewhere uh, I think that's about it. All right. Uh, as you know, bayonet to use the bayonet. If you have one, you pull that down. Oh, uh, rotate it up. With my muzzle brake, it will not uh, go over. So I kind of screwed the pooch there, but you know what? I keep it on there. And you just slap it in place and it locks. I keep it on there for looks. Because, I mean, I can always take that muzzle brake out and hook the bayonet up and do work if I so needed to. Alright. SKS, not my first choice. Um, for an actual uh, battle rifle. Uh, battle rifle. Not assault rifle. Ah, ouch. Um. The uh, the SKS was, I guess, uh, I guess, not necessarily the uh, the father of the AK-47 or any of that nature. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, both. Um, Mikhail Kalishnikov and uh, I'm not going to even try to say his name I'm going to butcher it and everybody's going to be like you don't know what you're talking about whatever whatever his name is uh, creating the SKS he uh, he him, him and Kalishnikov kind of had the same idea uh, same round uh, originally the AK-47 was originally the AK-46 but it had issues he went back to the drawing board fixed those now it's another AK-47, a little bit of useless knowledge on an SKS review. 
It's what everybody loves. But anyway, uh, I believe the SKS saw service for a year, two years. I mean, you know, it, it saw your uh, blah blah blah. It saw uh, service for a couple of years. Uh, didn't necessarily uh, do anything big with it. Uh, SKS is cheap. It is cheaper than the AK-47, at least in my opinion. You can get the paratrooper models at the barrel goes to about right here. Uh, yeah, about right there. Uh, those are unique. They're like the Mac 90s of the SKSs. Mac 90, you know, as an example, uh, not necessarily. Uh, it is the same setup. Uh, the paratrooper, they do make them by Norinco. Uh, I don't know if this gun actually says. Yep. And you can't see it, but you can tell there's drawing right there. Uh, Norinco China. Uh, Poly. Um, I'm trying to read the gun, not, not paying attention to the camera. Bali USA ATL 6A whatever SKS 762x39 well 762x39 then it goes into the Norinco China whatever um this gun's decently accurate uh I did fire tracers out of these uh I did fire oh well hell I'll just show you uh Russian tracers in my 762x39mm ammo review. Shut the tracers. Starburst. And the incendiary rounds. Uh, did shoot them out of this gun. The tracers were freaking amazing. Uh, my camera malfunctioned and did not uh, actually show. Uh, show this gun firing the tracers for whatever reason I I don't know I think the battery died and it just kind of delayed it or whatever uh, I do have video of uh, shooting starburst and incendiary rounds unfortunately the starburst and incendiary rounds did not do anything um, if it did I missed it so uh, I don't know tracers are cool as hell though uh, still got another box, I don't know. I might go out one night and I got one spare of each. Uh, I might take the girlfriend out, let her shoot it. Let her check out tracers, probably get that on video. Um, SKS, it's the accuracy of an AK-47 with the reliability of an AR-15 in my opinion. There's a lot of stovepipe jams with this SKS that I have uh, issues with. With the Norinco SKS, with Norinco 762x39, it tends to fucking catch and double feed and all that other shit. On a 10 round box magazine? No. On the 20 round, uh, oh, this is a 20 round, uh, magazine. The, uh, actual detachable magazine setup is, uh, horrendous. Uh, whoever came up with that idea should be shot. Uh, terrible idea with that big prong sticking out there. Uh, you gotta stick it in and rock it in, kind of like an AK mag. Except you can see with the AK mag, it's right there, and you just kind of pop it in and click, or pop it in, click. This one, you gotta slide it in, then click, and it's. It is a pain in the ass. Uh, I got two of these. One of them is screwed up and they don't want to go in for whatever reason. You can look at my video, uh, SKS and AR-15 video. For whatever reason, they don't want to go in. I don't know. I don't even care. Uh, I did. Ugh. I did take the sling off it and put it on my AK because it looked cooler on my AK. And this. Uh, I'll put that gun or that shoo can't even talk. Put the uh the magazine over there. 
Uh, this gun was handed down to me from my grandfather when he passed away. Uh, so this gun is more of a, a wall hanger than anything else. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll shoot it and I'll put a couple of videos up of me actually shooting the gun. Verifying it's a real gun. I mean, I, you guys can tell, but, you know, there's always critics. Uh... Uh, it's a wall hanger. Uh, uh, shoot, what am I missing? Oh, back to uh, the uh, Chinese use the SKS as uh, their main battle rifle for like a year or two. I don't know if Russia, Russia might have used it. Hell, I don't know. I slept since I saw that on the History Channel. Um this gun the SKS is a very symbolic gun it is uh, still used in ceremonies in North Korea and China and possibly other countries uh, also variants of the SKS have been found in uh, Afghanistan uh, Iraq or Iraq Iraq whatever I call it Iraq uh, I do believe Iran I don't know I don't know about too much of the fighting over there. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Again, uh, to me, it's more of a symbolic kind of gun. You know, this is my grandpa's. It was, you know, his baby, and I'm gonna hang it up on the wall. I uh, kind of, you know, kind of hang out and not really do a whole lot. Uh, if I ever need a 7.62 by 39 weapon, that's what the AK is for. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, probably use the SKS in a shit hit the fan scenario. Uh, the chances of that are slim to numb, but you never know. Uh, I will say that the bus stock does have the little. Oh, you can't see it. There it is. Uh, 